Well, here we go. What's going on, Cowboy Nation and angry Cowboy fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. And this is a special edition of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, the place to find my raw and uncut in podcast form. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time for my language, Cowboys Nation. I'm going to apologize because this topic right here, it pisses me off. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Are you sure? Let's get it. I get sick and damn tired of these delusional ass fans who say that black people favor black quarterbacks over white quarterbacks. This afternoon got me Pissed after reading a comment which said that black fans celebrated when Tony Romo got injured. They danced in the aisles when he got injured. I'm going to show the comment that I'm talking about. You know, we ain't going to waste no time here. The comment says. Can anyone explain why black fans are so racially biased with black quarterbacks? The coaches, the linemen, etc. are held accountable, yet Dak screws the pooch time after time in big games. We are on two coaches and three offensive coordinators, and these xenophobic DC for life fans want to extend a fourth round quarterback with the weakest arm in the league. Black fans are doing the same in Philly and Baltimore. Is blind loyalty to black quarterbacks not racism? If the Cowboys get another black quarterback, could we not move on before throwing the next five years in the trash with a weak-armed fourth-round quarterback that can't operate a standard spread pro-style offense? (sighs) Blind loyalty? Blind loyalty. The commenter said that it's happening in Philly as well as Baltimore. Where's your facts, dude? Where are your facts that the Eagles fan base is favoring a quarterback because he's black? Where are your facts that the Ravens or the Cowboys are favoring their respected quarterbacks because of their skin color? The thing is, were you chanting that same bullshit when Tony Romo was the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys? Were you saying the same shit when Carson Wentz was stinking it up over in Philly? What about Joe Flacco when he was the quarterback for the Ravens? I bet it was A-OK then, wasn't it? You say that Dak Prescott has the weakest arm in the league, but have absolutely nothing to back that statement up with. According to the stats, Dak Prescott is on pace to break almost every Dallas Cowboy quarterback record except for Super Bowls. He's coming up on Tony Romo's record for most yards for the Dallas Cowboys quarterbacks. Scare you? Dak Prescott, number two in QBR last year, but he has the weakest arm for some reason. But I bet you I can show you clips where his arm is on point and is strong. Remember that throw against the Detroit Lions? But going into the next clip, it reads. Watch the video, sir. Black fans were dancing in the aisles as Tony was carted off the field on a stretcher. The TV announcer commented how disgusting it was. They wore googly-eyed glasses to games Aikman's last year. Danny White and Tony Ono had to move from Dallas because abuse by fans. Black sports fans are xenophobic without conscience. It's the reality. Look at the way they treat Jokic and Caitlin Clark in basketball. Not trying to fight a culture that feels it's imperative to show bias to its race. I am just saying, Trey is also not white and is not 2-5 and five in the playoffs. Hell, Brady called it quits after losing the deck. He knew he was washed buckets. 
Two head coaches and three offensive coordinators couldn't win with Dak. What white guys do the D.C. for life blame next year's playoffs disasters on? Cowboys Nation, I have searched the entire Internet high and low for evidence on this commenter's claims, and I cannot find one shred of evidence backing anything he just said. If anybody can remember black fans wearing googly eyes to Cowboys games to taunt Troy Aikman, please send me the link. I want to know about it because I this is the first time I've heard about it. You're calling black fans xenophobic, even though that's not really the phrase that you want to say if this was a credible issue. Xenophobia is hating a person for being from a different country. Last time I checked, dude, Dak Prescott is American. He's from the United States. I'm American. Look at the way they treat Jokic and Caitlin Clark. Where have you seen the hatred for them because of their skin color or where they're from, dude? Where have you seen this? Just because Shaq commented on Jokic getting the MVP and he felt like he didn't deserve it doesn't mean that he hates him for his color or where he's from. Doesn't mean it's that Shaq is racist. As far as Caitlin Clark, you know why she's hated as much as she is? It's because she has been dubbed as the WNBA savior when for years women have been in that league busting their ass to get the league the recognition that Caitlin Clark brought overnight. They feel disrespected as players as well as contributors for what they've done. Shit, Angel Reese gets some backlash, but... I don't see you bring her name up in the conversation because it doesn't fit the narrative you're trying to spin, dude. And you keep bringing up the fact that the Cowboys are two and five in the playoffs and you'll put it all on deck. Of course you will. Does that make you racist? Because you're putting all this stuff on the shoulders of a black quarterback. Does that make you xenophobic? And you talk about the coaches that the Cowboys have let go. Tell me this, dude. How are they doing right now? Jason Garrett, how's he doing? Garrett went to the New York Giants, if I'm not mistaken, and he's no longer in the league. Is that Dak Prescott's fault? Kellen Moore couldn't get it done with Dak Prescott? Well, I mean, he couldn't get it done with Justin Herbert either. Now he's on his way to Philly to try it with Jalen Hurts. If he doesn't get it done then, you're going to call Black Eagles fans xenophobic when they fire him too? Oh, man. Now, let's go ahead and get to the last comment that he said, because this is irritating me, Cowboys Nation. He says, it's racial because until Dak, the quarterback, was held accountable for playing like ass, how many more coaches and coordinators will it take for the DC 4L fans to admit that Dak Prescott is an average quarterback? Nobody has ever won a Super Bowl with a fourth round quarterback. Never, not once. You would admit Dak is a middle-of-the-pack quarterback. Film proves that he has the weakest arm in the NFL. Playoff games are kept close by the yellow laundry. They script spectacular finishes, much like the NBA has done for decades. I can name a dozen quarterbacks that give their team a better chance at a fourth-quarter drive than Dak. The fans in the media made this racial with Dak when they screamed racism for the front office not wanting to give a weak-armed fourth-round quarterback record-breaking salary. They would do it again this year when Dak mops the floor with the bottom feeders again this year, then blame the coaches when he screws the pooch in postseason again. It's a cultural thing with black sports fans. Look at the disrespect Jokic and Caitlin Clark in basketball. Watch the film, sir. The Dallas Cowboy fans were dancing in the aisles as Romo was carted off on a stretcher. Dak is 2-5 and five in the postseason. The two wins were gifts. Brady called it quits after losing to sorry-ass Dak Prescott. The Seattle win got the defensive coordinator for Seattle so fired the engineer of the Legion of Boom never worked in the NFL again. It's gotten to the ridiculous stage now. Before training camp breaks, the Cowboys have zero chance at a championship, and Dak is the reason. Real Cowboys fans want to see a Super Bowl regardless of the race of the quarterback. DC for life fans want to simp for Dak. Can we not cheer him on in Vegas and blame their coach when Dak chokes in the playoffs for the Raiders? Is it really necessary to throw the next five seasons in the toilet like we have the last nine? 
Don't pretend you don't show preference for Dak because of his race. Name me a single quarterback that has been treated like Dak in the history of this team. Two and five in the postseason. The other stats mean nothing to fans that expect better. I can name that one quarterback that's been treated like Dak. Tony Romo. Actually, Tony Romo been treated better than Dak. So you mean to tell me that coaches were fired because Dak didn't play good? In the words of the great Michael Irvin, let me crack your cranium and fertilize your brain. Jason Garrett went eight and eight in multiple seasons. That's why they fired him. Mike McCarthy, he wanted responsibility of the offensive coordinator position and to call plays for this team from the jump. But Jerry Jones put Kellen Moore in there. Mike McCarthy got rid of Kellen Moore. In the business side of football, it is absolutely stupid to only allow a quarterback to play for four years and then to get rid of them unless they absolutely suck. Contrary to your belief, Dak Prescott doesn't suck. And he doesn't have the weakest arm in the league. That's your perspective. And it's not the perspective of the majority of Cowboys Nation. You say that I'm simping for Dak Prescott. Why can't we cheer him on as a Raider? That is the dumbest shit I have ever heard. Are you going to cheer him on as a Las Vegas Raider? Hell no. Come on, man. Stop. this, This thing has gotten... Dumber and dumber as I have read it. I'm sorry. And then you go on to say that I'm showing Dak Prescott preference because of his race. I'm actually starting to wonder if it's you that are the racist one, my dude. Real talk. I show Dak Prescott preference because I know what it takes to build a championship team. Whether it's peewee, middle school, junior high, high school, college, semi-pro, or in the pros. It takes an entire team to get the job done, man. It takes an entire team to make it through the regular season and the playoffs. You can't just put solo Dak Prescott out on the field with 11 defenders on the other side and expect Dak Prescott to win the game. That's where your team comes from. That's where your team comes into play. Those who don't know the game of football will put the blame on one person. Those who don't know how teamwork actually works will put the blame on one person. How many times do I have to say that it takes a Super Bowl caliber organization to win a championship and not just a Super Bowl caliber quarterback? If you believe that, you're obviously delusional. But it wasn't just this comment either, Cowboys Nation. It was during the live with West Coast Cowboys and Big Tom. This fool want to come up here and just say he want to come in the comment section and just say one word. And y'all know what that one word was. It was the hard E-R. You don't know if it was a Dallas Cowboys fan or not, but... In my perspective, like, why are you here if you're not a Dallas Cowboy fan? And if you're not a Dallas Cowboy fan, you're representing your team in your profile picture, you know? An Eagles logo, a 49ers logo, you know, something like that. Are you making your team known? This person didn't. They just came in and just said, Gers. That was it. Like, what in the hell? I mean, I was taken aback by that entire thing, Cowboys Nation. Taken aback. I truly didn't. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it. It was like it came out of it came out of the blue. And to think about it this way, Big Tom is he's a pastor. He's involved in the church and everybody who rocks with his channel knows that he is involved in the church. And you're going to come in here and just drop the ER like that. Real talk? Like, man, if it ain't a Dallas Cowboy fan, it's a fan of a football a football team. And it's like, dang, this is not just a Cowboy culture. This is an NFL culture, apparently. Man, I hate it. And I hate the fact that people don't want to even talk about it. This is something that needs to be talked about. Like, because thoughts like this, thoughts like the comments that the guy had, like, that's that's blatant. That is blatant. And you're going to sit here and project on me saying that I have preference to Dak Prescott because he's a black quarterback. Man, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. You ain't going to come on my page and say that I show preference. Like, dude, are you crazy? I show preference at winning. 
Who's going to win if Dak Prescott leaves? Who's going to bring this team to a uh, playoff appearance? Who's going to bring this team possibly further in the playoffs if Dak Prescott leaves? Please name him. Trey Lance? Oh, you you would probably prefer Cooper Rush, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because I bet you, when Tony Romo was our quarterback, I didn't hear a peep out of you saying, yeah, us white guys, we prefer a white quarterback. I bet I didn't. I bet you wasn't saying nothing like that. But I can't believe it, man. I, I woke up and you know I let the day go by. I was gonna let some hours go by and actually come in here and comment on your guys' comments. And I seen this one. I was like, oh man, oh man. You know, <laughs> it took me by surprise. Like, come on, I didn't know people were that stupid. I didn't know people were that stupid these days, Cowboys Nation. Like, I thought we were past that. I mean, I know that there's some issues, but maybe this is one of the issues. I know that there were still the remnants, but, man, somebody got y'all bold. Super bold. But I'm stating it right here, right now. I will have zero tolerance for racism on this YouTube channel, on my social media, or in my life. What you're saying is not football. It's being biased over a player because of his skin color. And you got the nerve to say that I'm simping for Dak Prescott and showing him favor because of his skin? I damn near cried when Tony Romo went down on his first injury in 2016. I stood on the table against my Dallas Cowboy friends when they wanted to pull the plug on Romo after he fumbled that game-winning field goal attempt. You're talking to a guy who was happy to see Drew Bledsoe become a Cowboy. It doesn't matter what color you are, but it damn sure matters to you, huh? These are my thoughts, y'all. These are my thoughts. This person has left me speechless. This person has left me befuddled. This person has left me dumbfounded. I'm starting to see it now. And I've seen this comment in the comment section before, too. You guys won't give a black quarterback the credit that he deserves. It's people like you that make it hard, unnecessarily hard for a quarterback that is not a person that looks like you. Are you talking about... Troy Aikman and, no, who was it, Tony, um, Tony Romo and somebody couldn't stay in Dallas because of the fans? Last time I checked, all the Dallas Cowboy fans were not black people. We ain't gonna sit here and allow you just to place the blame on everything that's going wrong on this team on our shoulders. I be damned. These are my thoughts, y'all. I gotta get up out of here. Y'all stay classy. And guy, dude, commenter. I ain't going to block you just yet. I want you to see this video. I want you to see how ignorant and how stupid you sound. Do you want to see the angry Cowboys fan? You got him. The rest of Cowboys Nation, the rest of the angry Cowboys fans, I love you guys. Thank you guys for rocking with me. This is truly, it makes me get in my bag, but it needs to be said. Cowboys Nation, we got to do better. We got to do better. And the division is bullshit. No matter who's under center, we should be as one. No matter who is under center, no matter who is catching the ball, no matter who is coaching the ball, we should be as one as Cowboys Nation. We ain't got room for the stupidity and the ignorance. I don't have room for it here and we shouldn't have room for it in the organization. This channel is for inclusivity and I will allow Anybody, I don't give a damn what color they are to come in here and spit their raw and uncut. But when your raw and uncut is as ignorant as this shit, I will give it no platform. Y'all like the video, please. If you enjoyed the content, please drop a like on it. Tell your friends about what we do here. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please, I implore you, subscribe to the channel on our way to 10K subscribers. And I can't do it without you guys. So please subscribe to the channel i gotta get out of here i gotta smoke a joint y'all this man got me riled up he got me riled up but this is your man the angry cowboys fan and i'm out
Cowboys fan, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.